What's up guys? Welcome back to another Madden 25 tip. Today we're talking all about beating the blitz. Uh, guys, pretty simple. Formation I love to beat the blitz in is the shotgun doubles. This PA stutter post stutter post play is really effective. Um, but I really think that the FO screen is still the best uh, for my money at beating the blitz. So we're going to show you zone blitz and, and man blitz here today. But uh, the quick audibles here are, are not the best. So I would recommend setting your own quick audibles. But you just want to do the same thing you're doing, uh, I think, with the ATL book. And set up the same hot routes. Put uh, Jones on a fade. Bernard on a little flat route. Sanu on a drag. And Green on a slant. Typically against zone blitz, you're going to want to hit this route to Jones over the top. It does a really nice job, uh, especially if you click on and make an inside uh, pass lead. It does a really good job against the zone blitz. And, I mean, there's really no question, especially if the safeties rotate to the right side, uh, it does a really good job. Let's show you an example of when the safeties would rotate to the left. So I think I have the strong. Yep, I do. Okay, so this should show you an example of what it might look like if they're in something else. And you'll see here the only difference should be that he's just going to come down on the running back a little bit more, which is why against zone I typically say, okay, throw that route to Jones several, 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 several times. Make them have to defend that. If they start defending it and, and maybe look like you know it may not be open, something like this is what they would do. So they would have to go through and they would go strong eagle. Let me bring green back around. But they would go strong eagle, slant three. If I can freaking find the play. Let me see here. So they would go strong eagle slant three, base line, and they would drop Thomas into a flat. For some reason this controller is driving me insane. Can't put him in a freaking flat. Uh, this controller. But basically they would put Thomas in a flat. So I'm gonna try to mimic it. And this would be like that. And, and it would just, it's hard, really hard to do it with two controllers. But that's all they would do to stop it. If they did that, it would leave Bernard open. Okay, so that's just something uh, that you would do. But basically, that's how you beat a zone blitz. And you would just throw that fade route. Another thing you could do is hit, you could even hit this route to Bernard. I mean, you'll have the blockers as well. The fade route is just a nice little wrinkle that you can add in onto it. Um, and then the other thing that you could do, I mean, this is really getting streamlined if you had time. You could wait the pocket, pass lead this drag down, and you see now you even have a running back over there to block for you. So those are three different ways to beat the zone blitz. Now we're going to show you how to beat the man blitz. We actually have two main ways we beat the man blitz. Okay, So against man, it's the same setup. And our first, our primary way to beat it is by hitting this little screen pass to Bernard. Okay, we feel like I feel like that is the best way to beat the man blitz because you have the numbers advantage. Okay, but for most people, for most people, if they maybe user that screen or something, what's going to happen is they're going to leave AJ Green on this slant route wide open, passing down to the inside, and obviously, you know, if they whatever they do to adjust is going to have to dictate what you do. But um, you'll see, I mean, this does a pretty nice job. You want to motion him and snap him right as he gets to Sanu. And, I mean, you'll see typically you get that animation. Now, I'm sending heavy, heavy, heavy pressure, so I really don't have a whole lot of time, especially because I'm in a screen pass. But, um, you know, typically, I mean, this works pretty good in game for you. It's a little bit harder to try to, like, telegraph where I'm going with the football. But pass lead that uh, little slant route inside typically you'll get the uh, typically you'll get the ex uh, the uh, the reception especially noting that this especially noting that uh, most most uh, defenses will press out of a man blitz to try to mimic two man under so, so that you don't throw deep and if they try to press this slant route uh, it's going to get that much more open but you have to have the time obviously and that's going to go back to establishing that you're going to hit this screen pass, you're going to snap, throw them to death, that they're going to have to set up a blitz that is still going to be good against the screen. So they would, you know, they would blitz from a different side altogether. I mean, it would probably be something like this, where they called their blitz, they'd flip it, and then they would have to say, okay, they would have to say, okay, here's the blitz, and then I'd drop a contain here, a spy here. Now they're only sending three. Now while this may get in, you're still, you, you know, typically you'll still have a little bit more time uh, to at least try to hit the slant, and, and you only need a, little, a couple seconds. 
and I mean you'll see here it is and you see you can fit that in so with your highest catch and traffic guy you can use that as well so that's how you beat a man blitz and his own blitz out of the shotgun doubles FL screen I wanted to show you another play but I don't have time to do it today so we're gonna have to just show you this uh, play as well we'll show you a red zone offense tomorrow uh, make sure you come back later today and check out that nickel 3d5 got some serious fire out of that the other last couple days and uh, today we're talking about how to lock up with coverages uh, I think the 3d5 might be one of the better schemes I've done in a long time just because of how good it is against uh, a lot of the most popular concepts people are doing. So check that out as well. And uh, also, guys, I'm going to have an e-guy dropping at the end of this month uh, to get you ready for Madden 15. So check that out. We'll see you guys later.